You guys probably know that I have a pup husky named Roxy. And while I thought that it's cool to own a dog, I think it would be so much cooler to own a bear. Meet Bear Varshavsky. Come on, come on, little boy. Come here, come, come on daddy's lap. Yes, this is little Bear Varshavsky, my new pup. And I know your first reaction. What about Roxy? Don't worry, Roxy's not going anywhere. She's my little pup forever and ever. Like most of you know, I do share Roxy with my dad. In fact, we got Roxy together when my mom passed away to have something to bond over. But nowadays, since I'm living apart from my dad, I feel awful when I have to take Roxy away from him and then leave him alone because it makes him really sad. And on the other hand, when I have to give Roxy back to him, I get really sad because I want to still have a pup around. What better way to celebrate being a dog lover, get health benefits, cheer up myself, cheer up my dad, and get Roxy an awesome brother than to get a little Newfie and name him Bear. A Newfie is a Newfoundland. And I know it sounds like I'm saying New Finland, but I'm saying New Foundland in a way that it's properly pronounced. So I'm still learning myself. This little guy here, right now he's only eight weeks old. He's technically tiny, but he weighs basically half of Roxy. So you can imagine he's gonna be probably 150 pounds when he grows up full size. He's gonna be a huge beast. The highlight of the Newfoundland breed is their temperament. I mean, these guys are known as gentle giants for a very good reason. They're amazing with kids, they're amazing with people. Uh, they're basically giant people pleasers. And that's how their breed came to be. They were working dogs that helped haul loads. They helped rescue people that were drowning because they're excellent swimmers because of these web huge feet of theirs. I mean, his paw is bigger than my wrist. Like, I don't have the biggest wrist in the world, but Jesus. He has hiccups. Growing pups always have hiccups. That's not new, so that doesn't even concern me. I'm sure you've heard that there are health benefits to owning a pup, but do you know exactly what all those health benefits are? Anxiety and depression. We know dogs make us feel good, but actually they're great at warding off mental illness. Yeah, those who have pups generally have less anxiety and less depressive symptoms. We don't have a clear understanding why dogs help with anxiety and depression, but we know that they definitely make you more social. And this is great for all ages. Kids benefit from this. There was a study talking about how uh, kids who are autistic benefit greatly by spending time with a dog. It's great for socialization. Another time, a point in life it's really good for is when you're 20s and your 30s and you're trying to find someone new and you're dating and it's not that easy. Guess what? Get an adorable pup, go to the dog park, meet some dog people, because generally dog people are really awesome people. I don't know why I did awesome people. We've talked about the negative effects of chronic stress on your body, and a lot of that is a result of the chronic activation of your sympathetic nervous system. That's that flight or flight response that keeps you always on edge. Well, guess what? Having a dog, petting a dog, lowers your blood pressure, calms your sympathetic nervous system, and you get a lot of health benefits from that. Not only is your heart healthy because your blood pressure is lower, but in studies when we've looked at dog owners and comparing them to non-dog owners, we found that the dog owners had lower cholesterol, lower triglycerides, and that really makes a difference for heart health. It reduces the risks of heart attack strokes. If you can reduce a chance of having one of these major illnesses and diseases happen to you just by owning an amazing dog, while this is not directly a health benefit, I think this is incredibly awesome. Dogs' noses are 40 times more sensitive than a human's nose is. And what dogs have been able to do is sniff and detect cancer. Initially, this was just based on anecdotal evidence of people telling stories that the, a dog was li licking their lump and they got it checked out and found out it was cancer. But now we have scientific research on this to the point where we're thinking about using dogs in medical care for this. It's incredible, dogs can smell cancer. Contrary to popular belief, 
Having a dog in a household actually decreases the likelihood that your children will develop asthma, eczema, or allergies. And that's usually a trio that runs in tandem together. Let's get out of science land for a moment. Not only do you see benefits within heart attack patients, depressed patients, Alzheimer's patients, but the biggest benefit and like the most exciting stuff that I've seen research on is that they compared people who own dogs and people who don't own dogs. And guess what? Those who own a dog drastically and significantly extend their lives. And we don't have a clear explanation for that, whether that means dog owners take more walks and are more active. Is it because they're more social? Is it because their stress levels are lower because they're constantly petting and playing with their dogs? It's likely a combination of all of these factors. What's cool about having a big dog is that they can serve as guide dogs, as rescue dogs. They're so smart, they're very intelligent, they're people friendly, and that combination is really good for a working dog to have. Now, I don't think I'm gonna be doing a lot of rescue missions here with Bear, but what I will be doing is I'm gonna get him certified as a therapy dog, and days that I can, I'm gonna bring him into the hospital for my patients to play with him because He's so calm, he's so friendly, and a lot of times in the hospital where patients are sick, we tend to be afraid to bring humor and happiness into the situation because we feel like it may upset the patients. But in reality, patients need a laugh, they need a good time. Those who are sick need a laugh the most. So I hope that Bear can be an awesome therapy dog, we can bring him into the hospital, maybe we can bring him on a curbside consult with us and ask people questions on the street with Bear with us. And uh, I hope that you guys enjoy him as much as I do. There's gonna be tons of pictures of him on Instagram and all over social media, so please like those. Oh, and if you have a recommendation for his social media handle, please let me know because I haven't yet come up with one. I don't know if everybody knows what a new fee is, so I was thinking Bear the Noof might be a little weird for most people. So if you have a social media handle recommendation, please write it down below. If you love dogs, give this video a like. If you're curious about my other pup, Roxy, who's an amazing husky, check out a day in the life husky edition on my channel now. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay healthy and happy. <laughs> Gentle giants. I mean, that's so important to me, especially because uh, I have kids come by. <laughs> that just makes me sound weird. <laughs> I found this spot. Am I mean for doing this? God, you're gonna be licking my face with your monster tongue when you get bigger? What am I gonna do with you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Give this video a like. Or a lick.